starting with the conducting system of heart. Conducting system means how would the pulse be generated? Right? And in this we see we are quite clear now with the diagram of the heart. In mammals heart is myogenic. What do we mean by myogenic heart? Means self excitable like we say auto start self excitable it means the cardiac impulse is initiated by the cardiac muscle fibers which are here in the heart region it is initiated first of all by the SA node which is situated here this is SA node SA stands for sino atrial node this is situated in the right upper chamber of the right atrium this is the right upper corner where it is mainly situated this is in close association with the muscles of atria all the muscles of atria are in association here and conducts the impulse first to atria so this is the first ever thing which is going to start the impulse and when will it get generated whenever the blood flows into the respective atria so this gets generated and it is conducted to the ventricles through AV node here is located the AV node A V node the second point this impulse is conducted to ventricles and which is basically uh, as per the location if we talk about it is located in the lower left corner of right atrium this is the lower left corner of right atrium right side left side upper lower right left okay so lower left corner of right atrium close to the interatrial septum these are the two auricles interatrial septum from this node the AV bundle that is the bundle of his it continues yaha par jata hai bundle it continues in the septum which septum AV septum and on the top of interventricular septum and branches into right and left ventricles immediately this is how the flow goes. This is AV bundle. And these are the bundle of his. Number 3, number 4. Later on, when this bundle of his it will give rise to small and small projections further which is reaching up to the AV septum. We call these projections as Purkinje fibers. P-U-R-K-I-N-J-E Purkinje fibers. Now, what happens here? These two bundles, the bundle of his, it branches producing many finer and finer branches. These are Purkinje fibers throughout the ventricular wall and conduct the impulse to the muscles of the ventricles. As a note, it basically generates a maximum of 70 to 75 action potentials per minute. Action potential per minute. Since it is responsible for initiating and maintaining the rhythmic contraction activity of the heart, it is known as the pacemaker of the heart. This SA node is known as the pacemaker of the heart. Again, once again, heart is myogenic, cardiac impulse is initiated by the cardiac muscle fibers. First of all, it is initiated by SA node, situated in the right upper corner of the right atrium. From here, they show the ability of self-excitation. The message or the impulse conducted here will pass to the ventricles. How? Through the AV node. 
AV node which is located in the lower left corner of right atrium and then through the AV node located here then AV bundle which is passing through the septum and emerge at the interventricular septum branches into right and left bundles we call them bundle of his and then bundles immediately produce small and small fibers finer branches we call them Purkinje fibers which will conduct the impulse to the walls of ventricles assay generates a maximum of 70 to 75 action potentials and is responsible for maintaining the rhythmic activity of the heart hence it is also known as the pacemaker of the heart now moving to what is ECG electrocardiogram E C G we call it electrocardiogram what is electrocardiogram we are quite clear with the graphic record of the electrical potential differences that means that p p p p p p p sound which we listen to all the uh, we can say instruments whatever are uh, installed in hospitals whenever a heart patient reaches there so we we are generally clear about this this is what we see there in hospitals right this is p this is q r s and t we call them waves this is the diagrammatic representation of a standard ECG a standard one means which is always there has to be there now we say it is a graphical record what is ECG graphical record of electrical potential differences produced by the excitation of heart muscles by now we have read double circulation cardiac cycle we know the heart contracts and relaxes rhythmically there is a stole and diastole so every time whenever there is a systole and diastole in the cardiac cycle these waves appear in a standard ECG right so the patient is connected to a machine with three electrical leads one in each of the wrist and one to the left ankle and we monitor the heart activities by counting the number of QRS complexes formed in a given time period we can determine the rate of heartbeat of an individual hota hai na sunte hain isko ye baad mein puri ek line ki form mein aa jati hai it means heart is not functioning right that is a quite can a very catchy glimpse in movies and uh, uh, any of the serials that uh, whenever something is happening a patient is not recovering from the heart disease generally what happens this line becomes proper straight line that means none of the systole and diastole activities are taken up in the body by counting the number of this qrs complex is formed in a given time one can determine the rate of heartbeat of an individual you know these p q r s these and t are all fixed and these tells us about the monitoring of the heart that how the heart is working p is the systole what is systole p is upward wave which represents the uh, generally the contraction of both the atria so we say p is atrial contraction or the other name which is given to it is atrial depolarization d polarization 
when we talk about QRS, this basically begins with a fresh, uh, fraction of a second of the P wave and continues to form this upright ending a kind of conical structure. It represents the ventricular depolarization that is ventricular contraction. Then we move to the th third one, the T1. It is a ventricular repolarization that means re relaxation of ventricles. See what happens when P, when auricular contraction takes place and when it moves to the ventricular contraction immediately that time no. It's very important that auricles will automatically open. So, auricular repolarization is not considered. It's only the ventricular repolarization which takes place once the ventricular depolarization takes place. Clear? This T wave is the repolarization wave. And end of T marks the end of systole. Alright? This is the entire graphic representation. We see... PR interval, the P to R, this P to R, this circle, this is automatically almost around less than 0.12 to 0.2 second. This PR in interval, it's 0.2 seconds maximum. And the QR is complex, this Q to S. This complex is around 0.42 second. And when we say this is extending or this is uh, coming out less than the actual value, it means there is a problem in auricles or in ventricles or in the segments which are not picking up or the fibers which are not able to conduct the heart properly. This is about ECG, electro cardiogram.